Hello, my name is Dan Stehauer with Vapor Clean Technologies. I'd like to thank you for joining us for this short little video presentation of how you can use dry vapor in the various cleaning applications within your facility. I think you're going to find this to be one of the most diversified little cleaning tools that you can put in your portfolio. It's highly effective at not just cleaning the grime and the dirt and the residues and the surfaces and the cracks and the crevices, but it's also very effective at eliminating the germs, the bacteria, and those are things that we need to be concerned about in a lot of our public facilities. So now that we've done the sink and the cappuccino machine, let's take a look. Now we'll hit the dishwasher area. Once again, these handle surfaces are sort of coarse. A lot of times they get dirty and grimy, and that dirt's hard to remove without getting out a good scrub brush. We're going to take and we're going to apply the steam uh, once again, and we're going to be able to just wipe over our, <coughs> our surface here. Easily cleaning, we'll be able to take off a lot of different dirts and residues that come across our handle. And with that hot steam, just loosen up the dirt and the soil in the handle area. I'm on high right now on my steam temperature. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down to a medium. So we're going to lighten that up. Once again, on the video camera, you probably can't see the finger grime that has come out of the handle of the dishwasher here. Uh, but there's no noticeably a good two shades different in that handle and that coarse material because that steam just simply removes that soiling. It's going to take and dry down our dishwasher here a moment. Take the little light puddle off the floor as well. Now we're going to work ourselves down to the floor, but before we begin with the floor, why don't we go ahead and change our attachment to a little larger attachment. This here, once again, very good for getting into the cracks and crevices. Maybe we should take a look before we change it right here. We want to detail around. We can get into the corners here, come around and tip it on in. Sitting underneath here just a little bit. Coming along the bottom edge here. I know in detailed cleaning it's very important um, to pay attention to the little details. You can see how we're fitting nicely underneath the bottom of this cabinet. There's some cobwebs, things of that nature along the bottom. We can just simply come along the bottom here, steaming off this bottom rail of the cabinets. Seeing a little bit more dirt right in here. We'll go ahead and we'll take it off along the lower edge. We can get into our toe kick here. Steam the toe kick as well. With our smaller attachment. Being that this is a really small floor, we don't necessarily need the larger attachment. I probably wouldn't make a change, but for the sake of the video, let's take a look and see. Now, once again, this is a very hot temperature right here. We're going to need to clean our bonnet because our bonnet is now really dirty. Uh, even though this floor clears, appears to be very clean, uh, we picked up a lot of dirt and residue that has been left behind. So let's take a look. We'll set this down on the floor here a moment. Let's change over. We have our larger floor attachment. You can see that we've put another bonnet across this floor attachment. Don't necessarily need the bonnet. Uh, many times I'll use the bonnet just because it holds the heat with the inside. If we need some scrubbing action, then we would remove the bonnet and use just the bristle of the brush. So let's go ahead and snap this onto our tool here a moment. And let's take a look at how it's going to work down on the floor. Once again, we don't need to be at a high level of steam. We just need to put a nice gentle layer of steam down on this floor. You can see how nice and dry our floor is. We're not saturating the floor. Let's go ahead and circle around to the back here. Yeah, we'll put a nice gentle layer of steam down. You can see how we can pick it up. Now you can see the steam pouring out of the tool. We move around the floor. And around the edges, back into the back area. We're able to pivot and move.
now let's take a look at our brush. This floor appeared to be very clean uh, before we started, but you can see that the dirt and the residue that we're picking up out of the pores of this little more porous material here, the stick down tile, it makes a beautiful floor, but because of the porousness of the floor, it's also a very difficult floor to clean and pull the residue out of those pores. You can see here that we're picking up a lot of that residue because of the hot temperature of the steam.